everyone. Um, my name is Brad Redkova, and I'm a CDM at Salesforce. Um, this is my Twitter <coughs> handle, so if you would like to follow me. I'm going to talk about today uh, about Einstein vision uh, API and how we can use that, how we can use it. Um, how many of you have done the trailhead modules and projects, apart from Kier? Has <laughs> anyone done the project? And Dave? Um, so I, I did it in my spare time. I was very interested, and then I thought, hmm, what we can do about it? What, how we can use it, apart from classifying cats? What else can we do with it? <laughs> and then I was invited for the talk. And then I saw Kier's post about the hot dog, and I was like, okay, what do you do now? Hot dog's taken. <laughs> and since, yeah, since hot dog was taken, I decided to see what else I can do, and I thought about brand detection. It is a fancy title, and this is just a demo, as I spent about a couple of days just building the application. Um, however, I just want to show you how we can use Einstein vision to monitor uh, a social channel, for example, to, um, to see how you can use the API to classify um, images to monitor, for example, um, your customer, what they post, maybe um, some other, um, whatever account you actually want to, to monitor and see actually what kind of photos they use and they would post maybe. So I thought about brand detection as uh, I, I like fashion, <laughs> so I picked up a couple of uh, uh, my favorite fashion. I got a few. I got a few photos uh, from Logos together with the Salesforce photo, and I thought, can I use this to show, um, just to detect what kind of images we can um, uh, we can get, whether we can use the, uh, Einstein vision and whether uh, just with a couple of um, of examples so that we can actually detect what I've posted. So for that, um, for this demo I actually built another uh, a Twitter account that I'm going to try to use because I couldn't, I don't think I'll demo all the demos that I've tried to, I tried to be prepare um, because I'm trying to do live demo and this is something that I was told not to do <laughs> 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 or I shouldn't do. Uh, Maybe not many of you know, but I actually uh, graduated from the same speakers group with here and Jolie last year. Uh, and it's been a year uh, since this happened. I did a few talks, uh, but you know, things happen, so your demo might not work, so be careful with that. Okay, so what is Einstein vision? Um, so what we can do with Einstein vision is it's an AI tool. Uh, and can, you can read a, a lot about this in the documentation, <coughs> but in, in essence, well, you can build um, powerful AI applications on Salesforce for a variety of image um, recognition cases, like visual search, you can do brand detection, you can do uh, product recognition, determine if something is hot dog or not hot dog, and classify a few animals, if you've done that uh, project with uh, the Visual Force page and the frog, pretty cool one. It includes Einstein image classification API and Einstein object detection. My scenario, uh, it's just a sentence, but I just want to point out and I want to make clear what I'm doing. So it's not a functional as it is application as it's just a demo, but I'm going to use Einstein Vision API to try to detect brands from a few images that I've posted um, on a Twitter account that I've created. And in this way, we're going to monitor what exactly it is posted, trying to classify it. Um, so we will have a label and we're going to have a um, probability um, <coughs> in, in terms of um, how close this image would be to to certain um, to certain label to a model that we've classified. Um, so what I would include in this app? 
So I'm going to create a new lightning app and to use Einstein um, services, platform services I have to create an Einstein account. Um, I'm going to use the open source libraries in order to communicate with the API and create a new lightning component to upload the uh, data set. This again from um, I've taken it from the example in Trailhead um, instead of creating my own. Um, that wasn't my goal. Uh, create and train an Einstein vision data set. Then I'm going to call Twitter API to get me the URLs for my account and test this data set uh, for, for brands and try to detect it, what they are and try to classify it. Um, this is my overall architecture. So I have two um, main lightning um, applications. This is the Einstein Vision um, Admin UI. Um, this again, you can uh, get the code from, uh, from the module. And I created a component uh, timeline paper. Uh, from Twitter, I built some Apex in order to get um, the timeline, JSON, and from there I get the, the media URLs that I'm using. Later on I'll show you, try to show you some demos how you can use um, the Einstein uh, Vision API uh, to make the post and get requests in order to get the labels of images that we are trying to classify and to get to, get to this the suggestions, the prediction, um, what kind of uh, label they've got, and again, the probability they belong to that class. So how does the Einstein Vision API work? Um, so at the top, you would see that, first of all, we'll need a data set with labels. Um, so in my case, I have um, a few images. I have um, kind of grouped them together. So I have Salesforce, um, Brand, plus I've chosen Adidas and then Porto. Um, this grouping determines the labels. So, and later on, uh, with the labels, we would uh, we'll create the model. Um, that would be trained to recognize what kind of image we've got. Um, second, we're going to upload the data set. By training the data set, we're going to create uh, the model. And later, what happens is that we use that model. So classified data, this is actually an image you, are, you would like to see where actually it belongs. And by classifying, uh, by using the model, you can classify um, the data and get a prediction. This prediction is actually like the ranked list um, that gives you a label and gives you the probability. So the way we start is accessing uh, Einstein Services API. So first of all, you need to create an account, download the key, generate an OS token um, that you can use. And I've actually, I have some problems now. Uh, I can't get my um, key to work. I, I really want to, to show you how you can test the API with Postman. Uh, but I'm just going to show you some um, screenshot stuff. Uh, using this OS token, I think it's only valid for about 15 minutes and then you can't use it. Um, but with code you can um, use a, a JWT payload. Um, that you can use, it, uh, that actually the application is using um, in this case. Installing uh, Einstein Vision Apex wrappers I've used those. Um, instead of building uh, my own, I've used it on open library. And it gives you all these cool methods that it just um, you can use straight away. Um, if you're interested, you can um, 
you can see how um, how it is done. Uh, you can uh, install them as a managed package in your environment. And the next step is to create the data set. So here, luckily I've got a screenshot since I'm not sure I'll be able to show the demo. Um, this is the uh, endpoint that I'm using. So it is a synchronous <coughs> code, so you see the response um, as soon as uh, the image uh, has been uploaded. There are a few parameters that we are using, and at the moment I'm here, I'm showing the, uh, the path. So this is the path to my, um, um, to my data set. <coughs> I've created, I've got like a Dropbox account and I have data set there that I'm using. And in the response, you're going to see the data set ID. That's important information as well as um, the labels and the examples. Um, so you've got the data set that you need to use for a course. You've got uh, the, the name of the, la uh, the label, which is actually, um, I created three, there's another four that added up and so forth. You have the number of examples, and this is the number of images that I've used. Um, and later on, you see that the more you've got, the better it recognizes um, your images later on. So it makes better predictions. After the upload of the data, the next step is to train the data set. And in this in this slide you can see the endpoint that you're using to train. And here, you'll be able to see how we're using the data set uh, to create um, the model. In the response, we get the model ID and um, the name of the data set we have uploaded and a status. So whoever has done the example uh, from Trailhead with the cats, um, they will see a very similar UI here. I use that component um, in my application. So this is uh, the Einstein um, vision component. So you can use the, um, for example, the, uh, the postman to upload the data set, or here you can use it from the UI. You can do the same thing. And as soon as uh, your data set is loaded, you would be able to see it uh, together with the um, labels and again number the examples. <coughs> okay, I'm not prepared for this, but um, I've shown you the the very important part of um, having the screenshots from Prosmed. So you believe me that I've done it, okay. Um, <laughs> I've shown you some code here. And <coughs> you might be interested to know how I've built the uh, Uh So I've got, I've got a token, I generated a token uh, using um, QMS secret. I'm calling Twitter API for, for the purpose of the demo. Um, I'm using this endpoint and I'm passing a Twitter handle here. Um, what I get is a JSON of the timeline. I'm passing this to um, another class, I'm parsing it, and I'm just getting the MIDI URL that I need for my, for my demo. Um, this is another um, update that I've done to one of the classes. So here I'm getting a brand prediction. Um, for example, in the hot in the hot dog demo and the cats, we're using a uh, base at 64 here. I'm passing a string of URLs and using Einstein Vision Prediction Services uh, to predict the URL using the model um, ID and the URL of the image. I get the probability, uh, the label, and I'm passing this through my uh, to my component. 
So now I just want to um, demo my application and I want um, just um, a second to load it. So this is my Twitter account, and I've had some uh, tweets um, that I've done in the past uh, several days, just to see how well uh, my model would work. created a new application, this is the brand detection application. And I've added the time I scrape component to, um, to the contact page layout in my brand detection application. Here I'm going to type my Twitter account and see what happens. Right, so this is what we got from my timeline. I got a random image with Salesforce logo. Got the label Salesforce plus a probability. <coughs> so it always displays the probability, the highest probability um, of the list. Um, what I've noticed is that since I haven't got many uh, examples within the portal, um, brand, um, I don't get very good results. However, I think that because of the, um, the style of one of their um, um, brands, which is Mr. Porte, thinks here uh, it works pretty good. Um, funny enough, next image, which is actually not a Porte logo, um, is only like um, the Adidas, which I have quite good examples of um, those images, doesn't work, but works pretty well. Uh, and of course, for me, this was, uh, to be honest, this was a surprise. It, it did work here, um, as I didn't have many images which uh, kind of include Salesforce logo plus, for example, um, another character. <coughs> So afterwards we've got some more shoes, it's pretty good. The tower with the logo has been uh, classified quite well. And then we've got Salesforce logo, which is almost one. Um, so this is my application, maybe maybe we can try, maybe we can upload now to see, I haven't caught it, I haven't hard caught it anything. So maybe we can try, um, I can do another tweet. I did prepare an image this, this morning. Some cats. Maybe we can try this one. <laughs> Tell me, what's so funny? I would like to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Okay. So what it does, it just takes the images one by one, really, <coughs> um, and displays them together with the label and the probability. Of course, this could be optimized. Um, and I think it did pretty well with this one. So this is the RAD application that I've built this time. <laughs> 
and uh, I welcome any questions. Thank you.